Today, let's see what kind of stabilization we can get out of this A74 and Catalyst Browse. What's up, everybody? First off, to clear many confusion, Catalyst Browse will stabilize video in any of the in camera stabilization modes. For all the clips shown here, I let Catalyst Browse automatically choose the crop factor, but you're able to manually change this if you want to. Here are the results of Catalyst Browse stabilizing clips shot with in-camera stabilization modes off, standard, and active. The clips were shot at 28mm in 30p with a 1 60th of a second shutter. We can see that Catalyst Browse is able to produce a more stabilized result with all the clips. Just looking at this first comparison here, I recommend using standard stabilization because when processing Catalyst Browse, it produces a nice result with less crop than with active stabilization, an almost identical crop compared to with no stabilization, and you also still get a clip stabilized with IBIS if you don't want to run your clips through Catalyst Browse. Up next, here are two clips shot with standard stabilization at about 42mm in 30p. We're trying to see if a faster shutter speed will give us a better stabilized result. While I don't think that the 1 125th of a second shutter speed clip is any better stabilized, you see that you get less blur in the image every time I take a step because of that faster shutter speed. Now we're comparing equivalent settings except that one clip is 30p and the other is 60p. It may just be the difference in my walk or maybe it's just my imagination, but I feel like the 60p clip has a little less up and down movement. Last up, here's a comparison between two 60p clips at different shutter speeds. Just like we saw with the 30p clips, there's less blur in the clip with a higher shutter speed, but I don't really see a difference in the quality of the stabilization. In case you were wondering, these were the automatic settings selected by Catalyst Browse for each clip that I shot. So as you saw, Catalyst Browse produces stabilized clips that are way beyond what Sony's in-camera stabilization modes can provide you. And as a bonus, no matter what stabilization mode you use in-camera, you can always stabilize that video further in Catalyst Browse if you want to. I hope you all found this helpful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one. Take it easy.